Once you've downloaded and installed the software, the first time you run it, I recommend right-clicking and choosing Run as Administrator. Select Yes if your user account control prompts you to confirm your action, and then the site application will launch. You'll need to activate the site viewer before you can use it. There is a 10-day evaluation period, so if you don't have your license code handy, you can evaluate for a little while. We'll click on Activate. And here you need to enter your license ID and password. You'll find your license ID and password on the Quick Start Guide in your box with the camera. If you've lost that, you can contact support at RecordX USA and they'll get you a new one. I'm going to go ahead and enter my license code and password now. And then click on Continue. You'll need internet access in order for this to work. You'll get this message, the activation was successful after it's been successfully activated. Then click Continue. You will no longer need to do that the next time that you start up the software. It will automatically open because once you've activated it once you don't need to do it again. You can see now I've got my document camera software open and it's brought up my camera. There's a very good chance that the first time it launches for you, it's going to bring up this screen so you can select the camera that you want to use. You want to select your Recordex document camera and select the resolution that you want. I recommend the highest resolution unless you're doing something that needs really smooth frame rate. Um, you'll see even at the highest resolution the frame rate is actually pretty good. But if you need something faster, you can always drop the frame rate down. Um, 1280 by 720 might be a good option. And here you can see the frame rate is even faster. Okay, there will be lots of videos that teach you how to use this. Um, but now that we've installed it and activated it, the next time that you launch the software, you can just double click the icon and it will launch and it will not require you to activate.